Hello there. Welcome to this uh, new installment of mine on on uh, editing some of your landscape photos. Um, what I'm going to be doing this morning quickly with you is um, I'm going to be talking about editing your Milky Way photos in Lightroom. Um, I've got uh, two images open here um, in Lightroom 5. Um, at, a at a later stage I'm going to be doing another one on how to edit these images in Photoshop to get the best out of them. Um, as you possibly can. Right, so let's start with these two images. Um, the one on the left uh, is just a silhouette shot of a wind pump um, with the Milky Way behind it. And I've, I've, uh, I'm going to be using this one and the next one where I've done a little bit of light painting just to show you quickly how to work with both of these images. Um, right, so let's get started here. Let's go over to the development module. On the right hand side you can see I've had one of my buddy's camera in the shot so I'm just going to go into and crop that out. So this is going to be a little bit more of a square crop which is fine for the tutorial purposes. Right, as you can see this image is very very dark um, and this is the raw straight out of the camera on my Canon 6D. But okay right, so let's start with some basic adjustments. On the right hand side, uh, we're going to be increasing the exposure by roughly about one, one and a third stop. You'll see the quite a bit of detail coming out in the sky there. Next thing, because you've got these dust fields in the in the Milky Way, you want to add lots of contrast because you want to bring out the light and the, and the stars and darken the dark dust fields there. So let's pump in some contrast there. I normally don't do this much contrast in normal images, but because of the silhouette, which is going to be dark in any way, it's, it's fine. So let's bring up the highlights a bit more, so just to bring a little bit more detail. We can add some light into the shadows. And on the whites, if you up that a little bit more, you'll see even more detail coming out in that Milky Way. With the blacks, you can drop that by a couple of points. Now, a very important slider is the clarity, because this is going to add a lot of local contrast into that Milky Way. So let's up that quite a bit. And you can really start seeing all the detail coming out in that Milky Way there. Again, in the next image, I'll, I'm going to show you how to uh, not add too much clarity to affect the foreground, which has been light painted. Um, in this one, I'm not going to be playing too much with the uh, vibrance and saturation purely because um, we don't want to warm up that sky um, much more. Um, with these long exposures, your sensor gets quite warm and then um, you get quite a warm feel to the images. So once I've got that sorted, I will just drop my white balance a little bit just to get a little bit more glue into the sky. On your tone curve, we're going to play a little bit more and add a little bit more contrast into that sky. So we're going to increase the highlights a little bit, increase the lights, and on the darks we're going to bring that down a little bit. And the same with the shadows. Immediately you can see there's lots and lots of detail coming out in that Milky Way. So let's look at the before and after. On the left you'll see the before photo, the raw image straight from the camera and on the right you can see all that detail that I've brought out in that Milky Way and this is just by the basic sliders that you've got in Lightroom. So let's go back to that. Next thing what I will do is I will use the adjustment brushes and these are going to be very basic uh, adjustment brushes as well. I'm not going to be doing lots of technical stuff on that because simply we don't need it to get the best out of this image. So at the bottom you'll see here, uh, uh, show selected mask area, and we'll tick that one. On the right hand side, all our sliders are set to zero. So at the moment we're just going to be painting in um, our mask onto this image. So let's get quite a big brush. Uh, before I forget, your flow, set your flow down to about 30 to 40 percent, so which if you to get a hundred percent effect, you'll have to go over about three, four times on the same um, area just to get it out there. Let's just clear that quickly. 
So what I will do is I will start and I will paint the whole sky just with one brush. And because you, you've got quite a big feather on this, you don't have to be super careful um, along the edges. Let's just make it a little bit smaller. And because it's set, the flow is set so low, you can quickly brush in a small brush into between the uprights and you won't get that whole effect applied to it. So let's just make it bigger again. Right, now you've got your whole sky basically masked out with the brush. So let's just untick that so you can see what the adjustments is going to be doing. And we will increase the exposure contrast and highlights a little bit you can see again let's just go before and after that was just with the adjustment brush so right now we're going to add some more clarity just to the sky and you can see all those dust fields coming out in, in that uh, uh, beautiful Milky Way so before and after I might bring down the highlights a little bit just for this area in the middle here. Okay, so next one we're going to be doing adding a new brush to it. So just click on new, make sure everything is zeroed, and add your mask overlay. Now you can make your brush a little bit smaller. All you're going to do, do now is you're just going to brush over the Milky Way area. Don't go too much into the rest of the image, and don't do it too too hard. Again. Set your flow quite low so that you don't get a solid line while you're doing this. So, right, that's my Milky Way basically selected. So, let's just unhide that mask. And now we're going to be bringing out lots of detail in only the Milky Way. So, we can up the exposure tab and a little bit more contrast. Adding lots of clarity there and a little bit of sharpness. So that's the difference in before and after in the two brushes, and you can see lots and lots of detail that's been brought out. This little section here might be a little bit too hot at the moment, so just add a new brush, um, drop the exposure tab on that, and just clean that up. If you want to, you can just go over these dust fields as well, just to make them a little bit more darker and add a little bit more detail to them. Again, a very low flow on your brush to get a very minimal effect at a time. Rather go over three or four times than having to redo um, a whole section that's been that's been brushed all at once. Okay, right, so let's have a look at the before, and you can enter all that to apply the settings. Now let's have a look at the before and after on the image. So, there you go. Raw image on the left hand side, unedited, edited Milky Way shot on the right. And uh, I think there's lots and lots of detail in, in that image. It just shows you the detail that can be brought out from these images straight from the camera. Right, let's move on to the next one. This is this one's got a building in the front that's been light painted with the head torch. And the way I do my, my light painting is I just simply bounce it off the inside of my hand and it creates a lovely, soft, warm light. So I, I try to stay away from painting directly with the light onto my subject because then you get lots of patches and blotches and stuff that doesn't look nice. With this, you get an even light. And it warms up because normally the headlights or the headlamps is, is um, LED lights, which is quite cold. Um, and you want to get a little bit warmer just to give it a little bit more natural look. So inside of your hand does a perfect, perfect job. On this image, I'm also going to crop it just slightly. Just bring off a little bit of the floor here. So you get more even. You get your horizon on the third there. So let's do that. Same story, let's start off with the normal adjustment layers. Um, I'm going to increase exposure a bit. Contrast again to about 30 points. 
we can add a little bit more highlights and you can see the the building comes out a little bit more on the shadows don't add too much because you're going to bring in a lot of noise in the dark areas of the building and the foreground I'll up my whites a, sl a slight bit as well and then on the blacks I'll just drop it again clarity we can add in quite a bit I'd say about 35 is fine so let's look at the before and after on this before we start playing with the brushes and you can immediately see there's quite a big difference in the detail in the sky there so let's add a little bit of tone curve add some highlights up the lights a bit drop the darks a tad and I'm just adding a little bit of light to the shadows alright so let's let's go into the adjustment brushes again start with a very soft flow select your mask and let's paint just set this all to zero again there we go and let's paint the whole sky the reason why we do this if we start with just Doing the Milky Way first, we're going to have a blown out Milky Way, so we want to increase the overall exposure and detail in the whole sky before we work on the Milky Way. Right, so there you've got your your uh, sky mask. Take off the mask, so let's increase a little bit of exposure, contrast, you can add a little bit of highlights, clarity up there quite a bit look at all the detail coming out there and a little bit of sharpness next step new brush again nice soft flow everything set to zero and now we're going to be doing only the Milky Way oh, let's highlight the mask first There we go, that should do it. A little bit, yeah. Right, unhide the mask. Now we can add some exposure again. Just a slight bit. A little bit more contrast. And then some more clarity and sharpness. And now again, if you want to add a little bit more depth into those dust fields, just select a new brush select your masks and go with a small brush and just brush in those visible dust fields there now you don't have to be super careful with a super nice line because these lines are normally all pretty jagged and Okay, that should do it. So now just unhide the mask. And now we can bring down the exposure a little bit. Increase the clarity. And that should do it. So let's have a, and you can save that to your image. So let's have a look at the before and after of this photo here. We didn't do too much to the building in the front. As you can see that it looks nice and evenly lit, but we did a, brought out a lot of detail in that Milky Way at the background there. So using these quick and easy adjustments in Lightroom can do a whole lot for your Milky Way photos. Um, yeah, please stay tuned for the next uh, video, which should follow shortly on how to edit these images in Photoshop. Thank you very much and uh, if you like what I did here just feel free to leave a comment or reply or click a like. Thank you very much.